Sheriff? What the hell? I don't know if they have chapter selected now. Kid, wonder where she gets that from. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. But if y'all can't recognize Max Payne's face and voice, you are fired from the community. Oh, Alan Wake 2 is finally here. I think we played the first game in like 2015. I, it was a long time ago. I, I don't even, I don't remember if I had my gaming PC or not when we played the game. But you all know what I need from y'all. It is October and I know I had to get a scary game for y'all. Probably should have played the quarry instead. So uh, I'm gonna warn y'all, Remedy games are weird. So I expect to see some stuff uh, that's a little bit strange on the games because that's usually how their games go. All I need from y'all is your favorite parts of the videos of timestamp in the comment section. I expect to see many jump scares. Make sure y'all like the video or I will shoot you in the ass with this. Also, I'll be giving away a copy of Alan Wake or any game you choose. So comment below, tell me what your favorite scary movie is. Subscribe, like the video. I'm all at y'all boys. Make sure y'all follow me on social media. Alan Wake 2. Let's get right to the bullshit. This shit's scaring me already, low key. Shit that so goddamn simple. Damn you, man. I was hoping this one of them games was just with no difficulty setting. Why do y'all do this to me, bitch? Ah, gotta do it. I can't stand you guys. Why y'all doing this to me, man? Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. a man's butt all in all in my goddamn face to start the motherfucking series it's dark as hell you know what it's hot too thank you for some light can you hear me I don't like this. I don't like this, man. All right, gonna be nerve real fast. <laughs> be nerve real quick. Hold on. Oh. 
These ain't even missable. 67 goddamn trophies? Oh, this is going, I might have to play this twice to get the, uh, the plat. I don't know if they have chapter select or not. Right. talk to y'all right now yeah i don't like this game i don't like it already and i can't see nothing crazy frightening it's just a tad bro i don't know every one of my games is always real like dark it looks fine right here YouTube, y'all better not touch my video. Y'all left out one dude show how to shave his ass on the platform. It ain't get age restricted for God knows how long, bro. He had his whole butt out, man. That thumbnail that I, I saw that was in my recommended was so disrespectful. Don't touch my video, YouTube. Get out, get your hands off. I ain't walking that way. Why would I walk towards that? the Mario Brothers. I should have played Super Mario Wonderland, bro. I shouldn't have chose this. I almost made it through all October without playing those scary games, bro. How could y'all do this to me, man? I should have played Lies of P. I should have played Crime Life Gang Wars. I should have played Mortal Kombat Story Mode. I should have played Street Fighter Story. I should have played The Quarry. I should have played Baldur's Gate. I should have played Armored Core. I should have played Pokemon. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. 
And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. But if y'all can't recognize Max Payne's face and voice, you are fired from the community. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Aldrin Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. I'm gonna get a look at your face, man. Yeah, look at look at the legend, man. Re respect the legend, bro. You're the one who this open world could be our deputy. I can go take a look. On black, we don't really split up, my boy. We don't do that. Uh, yeah, we lead out to y'all. Your belly aching, Jordan. I'm up here now. <laughs> That's just how the cookie crumbles. Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh, Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell him about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be but you know, inside. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Got it, Thornton. <laughs> All right. Graphically, the game looks good. I have it on performance mode, not on um, the facts of the case. Graphics. So far. Maybe I could have got it on PC instead. Clues clearly. Should have got it on PC instead, maybe. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. 
using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. One thing about Remedy, their games are weird. I just, I should know this by now, especially if you've played, um, oh God, what was the last one? It was, it was like Quantum Break, but it, it was, I can't remember what it was. I, I played it too. I can't remember what it's called. killer i don't know why i can't think of the game it's a good game god what's the name of that game anyway doesn't matter okay okay how do we get This game is weird. I don't know what the hell is going on. I see you're already hearted. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson. You're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Oh. All right, we got it. I got to see where the game takes us. It's off to a little bit of a slow start, but uh, I love the first Alan Wake, so I'm waiting, you know, until we get to the spot where we can start oh, shooting this shit. Nature gives me a headache. It's too much sky. Oh, I was walking. I forgot you could run. I'm sorry. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Gordon, he's joking. Let's just see this body, shall we? Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Me. I say in the penis, brothers. So I need to remember to edit the penis in the ass. Shit. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Step one. Examine the corpse. We're trying to examine that hoe from over here. Uh, 
body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Okay. Allows Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with X and placed on the case, case board. Is that this? Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? When the key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Okay, need to see if this is linked to the killings. Okay. Okay. So we need three pieces of evidence, I guess. All right, let's go back. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Okay, so put all three of these things on the on the board now, right? Why can't I put this down? Does this not go? Here we go. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. The clues have resolved the open question and unlocked the deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goal. You can check your updated goals by pressing triangle. Learn more about the victim and the killer. Okay. Talk to someone, find evidence. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. All right, we got a name. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. All right, let's put these on the case board. Why can't I put this? Like, we're gonna. Oh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> Rob. 
Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Cooler and beer bottles left in their bath. So I need there's more clues. No, oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. So there's still one more clue here. And I think that's all. Learn more about the killer. Okay. I'm looking for more stuff. Wait. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to. Okay. So we have the last two pieces, I guess. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Okay, now we can use these. We got. I'm trying to figure out how this this whole game plays. We got murder mystery going, boys. Yeah, just put the whatever the evidence is on the label, and then that'll let you actually post it on the board. So it needs to be on the right spot. It looks like everything that's yellow needs new clues. Whatever is not yellow is already finished. Huh. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. By the way, the other game's called Control. I know y'all probably already told me in the comments it's called Control. Control's a good game. Story's weird though. Missing two more clues. Am I not done profiling? I think I am. Yes, I am. Did both of those. And then what was this about? This mug always cheers me up. Okay, so hold on. Let me see what we need over here. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. I'll be damned if I sit by a body that looked like that. Anderson, did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. Did 
you get lost, Anderson? A witch with no heart. A strange echo of Al murder. Hmm. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Okay. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. So we don't have a place for this, do we? The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page, the first page that they had found, not the last, the first step down into terrifying depths, secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message. Was a message. Someone knew they were here, what they were doing. Someone playing a game with them leading them on an invitation how could they not accept the sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them even if they knew it would end up hurting them is there more to profile ah we found a page in the woods a story about these events what is nightingale's role in this i carry his words close to my chest now Inside the awful truth, you must dig it out. Something was put inside him, in his chest. I must find out what. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body, see what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do... what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Hey, Witnesses to their design? Back. Good. All the above? It's all about control. 
Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Okay, I need to see how this map works. So we're down here, and I guess you can kind of go where. Okay, Seems I can like walk a nice up. Town so far. Murders aside, pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Yes, I know. You're, you're not telling me anything. Get that message out my thing. Is there anything back here? Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. Wait, they got weapon upgrades on this? He hates those cheesy crime books. But what? he really hates the movies. I don't have enough for that, okay. Okay then. <sighs> I was not expecting that. The first game is just really bare bones when it came to the weapons and the combat. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. So, is that what we're going? Why we do that? What's up here? If I, if I, I might try to get the plot. I need to see how the game plays, though. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Who's driving, me or you? Shit happened. We're 40 minutes in. Page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Shit do look good, though. Waterfront. Shouldn't keep... So we are, Wait, what can I see? Let's go to the map. 
I gotta find the map first. It was the first map we saw was like sitting on like a is it over here? Is that what this is? There we go. That's how you get your maps. Now we talking. Here we go. And then we're going to the diner, which is right here. Now, unfortunately, it don't look like this game has waypoints. Don't know. Don't tell me y'all did that shit to the community, man. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my code here. I mean, our plus you will be the fellow of all. This is Donna right here. This is Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. It's the ice man. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. I think that's the Iceman from, from uh, We've looked through the one of the X-Men movies. Said over sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Calvin Light was fast off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Hmm. Yo, I don't know who's responsible for this black man's head, but what y'all did to his head and that fade is fucked up look at his head look at that fade that is oh man and y'all think these are the people that killed him excuse me i'm agent saga anderson are you the bookers that's us i'm tammy and he's ed hello officer just saga is fine ed so are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Don't talk to him. Don't talk to cops unless you're going to jail. <laughs> you don't talk at all, actually. Especially if you ain't do nothing. Boy, he ain't, you, ain't nothing you can say that can help you. It only can hurt yourself talking, man. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Man, that shit believable as hell, the way he talking. I believe everything you just said, my boy. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. Yeah. They were shouting, cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found us. <laughs> the whole thing was terrifying that's all what were you doing at cauldron late last night i'm a writer true crime we're here from new york doing some research on a famous novelist alan wake who went missing here i was down at the lake getting some details perfectly legal got yeah, free to go New stuff. We don't have nowhere to nowhere to put this yet, though.
Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Don't go there. No, I don't want to exit. Come on, man. Here we go. All right, we'll do that in a second. Hold up. So. We don't have anywhere to put this fight yet. So what we're going to do is the little profile thing first. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. There's some criminal shit that went down. Breaking and entering. I need the necklace Tammy found. It's evidence. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear fellow. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. We'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter? That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Dumbass bitch, you don't say that to nobody if you know something like that happened though. Raggedy bitch. So Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious, but soon enough there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. 
Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Morning, the Wizard Sheriff! Was out. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible, but it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Hey! Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. I miss titties. Oh. It's not opening. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. I'm trying to avoid the dick. What I just say, bro. What was the I know what I'm that? saying though, man. It's on the screen. What other clues can the body give me? There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. His feet look like Brontosaurus meat from Flintstone. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. To the case board we go. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Okay, let's just start marking these. Think Saga. Why can I not? Okay. Chest wound is cause of death, but the corpse is bloated. Waterlogged. Doesn't add up. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Okay.
same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Stand the light. Here we go. He had his dick out. He had his dick out. What you doing with your dick out? stop here my boys we're gonna do chapter two right now though so make sure y'all check back for part two we're finally getting to the good stuff i know that first chapter was a little bit slow but they got me right there at the end i ain't gonna lie you know what i'm saying thumbs up subscribe if you're new we're gonna see y'all for part two of alan wake make sure y'all check out the other series we're working on we're playing like five games right now we're gonna finish all these bitches all right peace